Hey guys! In the past few years I discovered some people decorate their footwork with these pivoting blade flipping elements. I'm going to explain 5 of these so you can weave them in your style. 3 things are certain. The smallest detail matter the most in these elements. As you need mostly to flip your blade from one side to the other, do it either on the nose or the heel. And these are hard. Or am I bad at footwork? Uh, maybe both. Let's start with a simple one. I saw this in Global Isis clip from the Lake Baikal. We are talking about this flip. If we look at it from a first person view, it's really just a nose spin, then a flip, then the other leg follows. It really can be done in a lot of situations, for example triangle. Even though it's just that simple, it adds so much to your style. Next up, do you remember this leg crossing clip from the triangle spin tutorial? Well, we will get back to that later in a second, but if you do half of this spin just now, from a normal stance, you will arrive in a crossed position. Where is this useful? For example here, in this clip from the Budapest 3 meetup. It's done after a grapevine in this case, and it's perfect because we are spinning here anyway. But of course it's not restricted to grapevine only. Jamie sent me a clip where he's doing similar things. In case you missed it, he did this here. Staying with the grapevine example, here is the first person view. And now back to the triangle spin. We already talked about it in another video, which I'm linking just in case. One thing I didn't mention back then, but the topic of this video is exactly that. You can do the spin on the noses, this way adding even more style to the spin. Same as before, you are not restricted to a triangle, you just need your legs to be crossed as a starting point. The fourth element is a bit different, as it's fine without lifting the heel up too much, and it was already displayed mistakenly during that tutorial I mentioned, so now I will break it down. Though it looks similar to the triangle spin, you only do half of the twist. It's better to show it in first person. Or maybe not, and even my nose is blocking the view. Still, please analyze what you see, I slowed it down. The interesting part, the twist, happens when you pull back the leading leg. And the same clip just mirrored, in case you only do footwork in the other direction. This one is probably the hardest, hence I decided to spare a few seconds on the mirrored version. The last one is a pseudo movement. It's totally unneeded in a grapevine, but you have the time to do it, and oh boy, does it look cool! All you need to do is to stop the grapevine, do the revert, turn back with your body, and flip your left leg. Bring it behind the right, then next to each other. Note that if this is my grapevine from first person view, and I turn left when coming back from the backwards phase, this time I will turn right instead. But the right leg does the same motion, then comes the blade flip with the left one. I hope that's understandable based on the pictures, except here, here you can't see it, but... A bonus tip for everyone who is still here. With this you can double the amount of all tricks I just mentioned. Learn them in the opposite direction. People won't notice. They will just see... They won't know it's the same trick mirrored. It's very hard to recognize. And it goes without saying, feel free to cut these in half and do different combos from them or whatever. Next week, a tutorial by Rick West from last season. Mistakes that beginner ice skaters make. Not only for beginners. See you later. Have a nice icy day.